Hey, what's up? My name is Leslie. Uh, this is my first video blog and I'm excited. <sighs> okay, uh, my first video blog, I want to talk about female comics. Okay, uh, let me just say this first. Uh, when I first started comedy, my goal wasn't to be a female comic. My goal was to be a comic, okay? Um, uh, the one thing that I hated, I hated, uh, was that when, you know, I would watch female comics and they would be so angry. They would be so angry on stage and the energy is not really going towards anything that that's uh, uh, worth, you know what I mean? And then the men, the men are not listening. The men are not listening when, when, when female comics are up there veil bashing. So I'm going to say this to, first. Let me just say this. This craft, uh, which, which any craft, I do believe any business craft, this world, period, is male dominated. Um, so a male and female comic, a male comic walks on stage. He's going to have a minute. He's, they're going to give him a minute because he's a male. And they're thinking, hey, he's a man. He probably knows what he's doing. They're going to give him a minute to see what he if he's funny. Females. I'm sorry, but we get no time. We get no time. When you hit the stage, they see you before they hear you. Trust and believe. Because we're women. They're judging everything. They're judging how we look. They're judging how we dress. They're judging if we're cute. They're judging if we're ugly. They're judging if we're loud. They're, they're judging, period. I don't know. It's just a woman thing. I don't know. The men and the women are judging you, okay? So when I hit the stage, the first thing I do is... is I'm letting the audience know through the way I walked on stage, through the way that I'm looking at you, through the way I grabbed the mic, I'm letting you know this is not no joke. I'm about to make you laugh. And that's the attitude, women, that we need to take on. Um, I, the one thing that I've noticed about males, period, in life, in, in comedy, in, in anything, any job that I've ever had, even if they're insecure, even if they don't know what they're doing, they fake it. <laughs> they're, they're, I have to say, for men, I have to give it up to them for that because they can fake it. They can fake it. If you don't, if 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 you will never know that they don't know what they're doing until you start seeing that they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Seriously, because up until that point, you thinking they know what they're doing. They fake it. Ladies, come on. We got to take some of these lessons from men. We got to take some of these lessons from men. You got to act like you don't give a shit. Let me tell you something. When I first started comedy, my first goal was to be like Lucille Ball, to be like Kara Burnett, and to be like uh, John Ritter, okay? Because all three of them did not give a shit what they looked like. They didn't care. They didn't care how goofy they looked when they was doing something funny. All their, and you could see it in their eyes that, that their goal was to make sure the joke was executed. You, you, I mean, go back and look at Carol Burnett. Go back and look at Lucille Ball. When Lucille Ball was doing something funny, look at her face. She does not give a shit about the audience or, or what they're thinking about her. She don't give a shit. All she's thinking is, this is a funny bit and I am going to push it to the limits. Kara Burnett, the same thing. John Ritter, the same thing. I, I just, I just, I've always wanted to be that type of comic, uh, just like a physical, you know, a physical, funny comic, you know. And when I'm on stage, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit what I'm looking like because I'm sure that whatever I'm looking like is hysterical. So that's what I'm saying about women. Women, this craft. Okay, as far as the craft, period, you need to realize that loving the craft is important. It's important. Now, I'm talking to male and female comics. Now, um, you will never get to the level that you want to get until you love comedy. Okay? Now, when I say that is a lot of people get into comedy because they think they can get famous real quick at it. Or they think, oh, I made my auntie laugh, so I'm going to go try to do comedy. No. When I got into comedy, I got into comedy because I love comedy. You know, the craft, the craft itself, the craft of comedy, the craft of art, the craft of music, the craft of writing, all of that is an entity. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that when you dead and gone, it's still going to be here. So you have to respect it. Once you gain that respect for the craft, 
the craft will respect you. And then therefore you guys can unite together and make something awesome. Now I know that sound corny, but I tell you what, that's exactly why I'm one of the baddest bitches out here now. <laughs>